This story originally appeared on The Athletic, the best place to read about football online. Visit www.theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football for a 30 day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. In May 2016, a banner at Bordeaux's Matmut Atlantique Stadium declared in French, for those who dream of England, there's still room on Newcastle's bench. It was aimed at Henri Servet, who'd left for Tyneside four months previously. Newcastle's relegation from the Premier League was imminent, and a pocket of supporters were wallowing in their former captain's misery. But more than three years on, even a place on the bench seems to be beyond Servet. Their supporters would be forgiven for forgetting that the 28-year-old is even still employed by the club. But he remains a Newcastle player, albeit one who is not in Steve Bruce's 25-man Premier League squad, along with fellow experienced midfielder Jack Colback. Sivet has played a total of 232 league minutes for Newcastle and made only eight appearances for them, three of which were league starts. He's been loaned out three times while collecting his £32,000 per week salary, only part of which has been subsidised, pocketing more than £5 million in wages on a contract that has more than 18 months left to run. Once the £4.5 million fee Newcastle paid Bordeaux is taken into account, each of Seve's appearances has come at a cost in excess of £1 million. However, unlike the previous three summers, Seve has not been exiled to the academy to train with the under-23s. Instead, new manager Bruce has opted to keep Seve and Colbeck, 29, involved in first-team sessions, insisting that they've done nothing to warrant that kind of humiliation. In fact, sources insist that Seve is not a disruptive influence. He's known to be a quiet but happy presence around the training ground, often to be spotted with Florian Lejeune or eating lunch with Christian Atsu. And Bruce has a positive rapport with the midfielder and has been seen joking with Seve removing his cap and ruffling his hair in the team canteen. Although disappointed on a professional level not to be playing, insiders indicate that Seve is not as outwardly frustrated by the situation as Colback and enjoys day-to-day -day life on Tyneside. The Senegal international is considered a positive presence among the squad, even if he's not technically part of it. What is curious, though, is that Seve remains such a high-profile footballer away from Tyneside. He started in this summer's Africa Cup of Nations final, where Senegal lost 1-0 to Algeria. So why then have three successive Newcastle coaches overlooked him? Well, the issue stems back to when he initially signed. The last recruit during the club's so-called French Revolution, he symbolises how a blueprint that started so expertly with signings such as Hatem Ben Arfa and Johan Kabay had become stale. The chief scout, Graham Carr, who boasted extensive French contacts, had been a long-term admirer of Seve. Carr had watched a player dubbed as the next Thierry Henry, and one who became a football manager starlet following the game's 2008 edition, impress as a young forward before Seve morphed into a defensive midfielder after injury. Scouts from Newcastle, Swansea City and Tottenham Hotspur watched at Anfield in November 2015 as Seve delivered a goal-scoring man-of-the-match display during Bordeaux's 2-1 Europa League defeat by Liverpool. Fearful they could miss out, Newcastle moved swiftly when the mid-season window opened. Steve McLaren's top target was John Joe Shelby, and the head coach was not sold on Seve's credentials, even if a long-term successor to Czech Teote was required with the Ivorian expected to leave. In the end, Newcastle signed both men, but Teote's transfer collapsed and Seve found himself dropped from the starting lineup by McLaren after only two starts. Once Rafa Benitez arrived, the Spaniard could not comprehend why Seve and on loan Roma striker Seydou Dumbia had been brought to the Premier League that January. Seve found himself banished to the reserves and then sent on loan to Saint Etienne in France for all of Newcastle's championship winning 2016 17 campaign. In Benitez's view, while Save was technically proficient, he lacked the physicality and stamina to control the midfield in England. And once Save declared that his close friends Johan Gouffron and Gabriel Obertan were way better than the English players and should have always played more at Newcastle, his future under the Spaniard always appeared bleak. Benitez never had an issue with Save's attitude, he simply didn't value him as a player. Even though he transfer-listed Save in 2017 and sent him back to the reserves, he was belatedly handed a shirt number once the Newcastle manager realised his desire to entirely reshape the squad would not be realised. 
However, Save still did not make an appearance until injuries forced Benitez's hand just before Christmas in 2017. He was called in to partner his friend Mohamed Diame in central midfield away to West Ham at the London Stadium and had a dreadful start. He gifted a back pass straight to Marko Arnautovic for the game's opening goal. Yet just four minutes later, Save demanded that he take a free kick and he curled a 25-yard effort into the bottom corner. For the game's remaining 80 minutes, he was steady if unremarkable, but he never made another league appearance under Benitez. Now, Newcastle supporters have never quite understood why he was discarded after scoring that day. Primarily, it was because of what he failed to do. He did not dominate and influence as a midfielder should. One insider attempted to explain Save's exclusion by stating that he is a free kick specialist who seems to do very little else. Save spent the next 18 months out on loan in Turkey, at Sivaspor and Bursaspor, working under coach Samet Ababa at both. Last season, Save made 29 appearances for Bursaspor, predominantly as an attacking midfielder, but scored only twice as they were relegated from the top flight. He returned to Tyneside, and despite interest from Turkey and France, failed to secure another move. With windows across Africa and the Middle East, including Qatar and the UAE, still open, a lone move outside of Europe is improbable, but not impossible. Although Save was eligible to play in the Carabao Cup, Bruce opted not to use him. The midfielder has not appeared for the under-23 side either. His last competitive game was that 75-minute appearance in the Africa Cup of Nations two months ago. He remains an enigma. Despite his obvious struggles in Turkey, he is deemed creative enough to play as an attacking midfielder for a nation who boasts forwards including Sadio Mane, Ismail Assar, and Mbaye Niang. He has never been considered for such a role at Newcastle as he lacks the speed and guile to excel there, rather Save still seems to be regarded by them as a defensive midfielder, albeit one who is simply ill-suited to the pace and physicality of the Premier League. Nearly four years on from a move that Savi admitted he never planned to make, a place on the bench is a distant dream. He is still at Newcastle, but finds himself a footballer who doesn't actually play football. The script for this video, written by Chris War, was originally featured on The Athletic, the best place to read about football online. Whether it's the story behind the story, dedicated local reporting about your team, or rich storytelling from around the world, you'll find it all in one place. And for more of Chris's in-depth work on Newcastle United or any other writer and team, get a 30-day free trial by visiting theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football and get 50% off if you sign up for an annual subscription. To support TIFO, support The Athletic. Thank you for watching.